Hello my sewing friends. Here's my review of Vogue 8975, a Marcy Tilton pattern. I'm Jen and this is the sewing room where this got made recently. This is Vogue 7, uh, 8975. It is a Marcy Tilton pattern. I made this view, which is view A, but I did the contrast pockets and binding from view C. And I gotta tell you, this is one crazy looking thing once you get into the instructions. And even the way you cut it out, you're going, what? <laughs> but it is so easy to put together. I could not believe how fast it was going, which I, I guess is typical of Marcy Tilton. If you are familiar with her at all, you'll know. She doesn't make it hard, she just makes it interesting. And I thought this was really interesting. Uh, let's see, it's like a puzzle, but it's fun, you know? And uh, it has a lot of architecture, which is something that really draws me to a pattern. I wasn't sure I would like this. Uh, and if I were going past it in the pattern catalog, I probably would have gone right by. But I don't know, I saw a couple of people make it and I really stopped and looked at the pattern after I saw Ginny at the Big Sew Along do one of her patterns. And I thought, why do I not look closer at her patterns? I always just think she's way out there and you know, crazy. She's not. Uh, and I'm so pleased with this pattern. The fabric, uh, this is a just a poly lycra knit. It might have a little bit of cotton in it, but I think it's all polyester from Hobby Lobby. And then the contrast, the binding, and then the pockets and the back band are all from Fabric Mart. They are part of a border print that I got that's beautiful. It's polka dots in the middle, and then it's got this solid green with kind of roses along the bottom and it's just, I love this print and I have enough of it left that I think I'm gonna be able to maybe do a t-shirt or just something fun with it. It's an ITY, so 100% polyester, but it worked great for what I used it for. Uh, the neck binding and the armhole bindings. The way that Marcy Tilton tells you to do it in the instructions just seemed a little crazy to me because you were supposed to stay stitch and then trim and then sew the binding on and all of the thing, ways she tells you to do it. And I just wasn't going to do that. I just thought that's too complicated. And it didn't make sense to me that you would trim it down and yeah, no. So I just, you know, did the standard sew it on, turn it over and top stitch it. But what I found in my top stitching is that I get really frustrated with blind top stitching, which is essentially when you have to turn something and then you stitch it on the right side, but on you got to catch it on the inside, on the wrong side. So in this case, what I did was used a double needle, which put a zigzag stitch right down the center of this binding. The binding's a little thin, and when I, you know, got my husband's opinion about it. I said, do you think this ought to be fatter, like about an inch wide? And he goes, no, no, I like it the way it is. It's kind of subtle. And I thought, you know, I think I agree with him enough to not want to take it off and redo it. Uh, like I say, the construction is pretty straightforward. I mean, I think this is suitable for either an advanced beginner or a beginner intermediate sewer. Uh, it's not good for a beginner, I don't think, because you have too many uh, places where fabrics are, like seam lines, are coming together and you have to sew up to the point and stop and then come back down. And it's not uh, an easy uh, thing because you have to clip up to the cur up to the point and you know, it's, it's complicated. You don't want to do it. If you're a beginner, it'll confuse you and you'll get frustrated. So don't try that. <laughs> But uh, if you get to where your skills are a little further along, this would be a fun pattern to try because like I say, it's not, it's not hard. It looks a little convoluted when you look at the instructions, but then you start to figure out, okay, that's because that's cut that way and that's what's gonna happen and here's what I'm doing here. So it's just not hard. Uh, I did not, like I say, trim the seam on here and I did the double needle. I also did the double needle on the hemline which was fine. I think this is a little longer in the front than it is in the back, and that's because it's supposed to be. 
mainly because you've got this drape that comes out of a point here in front. It's like a triangle and it goes down and you actually draw the ends of it up on the inside and you attach it. You attach those to the bottom of the pockets. So it just creates that, that uh, drape on the pockets and then on the, uh, just on the bottom of the dress. Um, let's see. True confessions. Even if you are an intermediate or, you know, approaching an advanced sewer, and the only reason I say that I am that is because I've been doing it for a long time and I'm familiar with all the methods. But, you know, I still use that seam ripper an awful lot and I have to look up ways to do things because I've, although I've done stuff for years and years, I haven't always done it the right way and I haven't always done it the best way. So, even at that, uh, I think... <laughs> Uh, points are hard. Anytime you have to come to a point in any kind of a garment, like here in this, this, like I say, was cut. You cut up into the bodice and then you have to um, insert basically the triangle. And there's not really a good way to do it where you stitch up and stop or stitch up and stop or yeah, you have to basically graduate the seam out. Points are hard. Points are just hard. Uh, so, you know, my best advice is to, you know, if you have to do them, find a good way to do them. Find a good tutorial to watch. Um, I think that the thing I heard from Nancy Zeman years ago about, you know, whenever you're going around a corner or you're coming to a, any kind of a point, go down to the point, pivot, and don't pivot all the way. Don't pivot all, you know, pivot about that much and take one stitch. And then pivot again and continue on your uh, corner. Boy, you will get a very straight, sharp point or call or corner every time. You really will. That's really about all I have to say about this dress. I can't believe how easy it was. I really can't. Uh, <laughs> I made the size medium and it fits perfectly. I'm so pleased with this, probably because it's knit. It's not form fitting it is close fitting but I think that's probably how uh, or maybe not how but what makes it so appealing when you get it done because you've got all this drapey pocket stuff going on in the on the bottom and then you've got this thing in the back but the thing is that close fit through here makes it not so sloppy big you know not big drapey moo moo big that's, I think, what attracted me to it. It's that it's got this shape, and yet it's uh, it's not tight. I think that's that's perfect for women my age, where you know what's happened is everything is gathered right around our waistlines, and so we have to deal with that in whatever way that we can. And in this case, something like this, while it's close fitting, it's not form fitting. And so it's not showing all of the, you know, little bumps and bulges in the back or in the front. So uh, I think this is a great pattern and I think you should give it a try if it's a style that you like. Um, let me just say, it may look complicated. It may even seem complicated when you cut it out and when you look at the instructions, but once you get going, you get the hang of it. It's like, this isn't hard. <laughs> this is a piece of cake and oh my gosh, it's a piece of cake and I'm gonna die of shock. So yeah, that's it for now for me. That's my uh, review of that. If you'd like to see any other reviews of things that I've done, I've created a playlist so you can check that. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to be a part of my sewing room family. I'm all about creating community on YouTube. So I would love for you to join us. So thanks so much for watching. See you next time.